Hey guys, Joe from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Welcome to New York City Potholes Winter 2013 to 2014. This was an unusually bad winter. We got a ton of snow and it really ripped up the roads. I'd like to take you on a little tour, if I may. Here you see the washboard roadway known as the Major Deegan Expressway heading south by Yankee Stadium. I should tell you that these pictures were taken on the weekends if you notice why traffic seems to be a little lighter. DOT crews were working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can see by the middle of the roadway there how potmarked the roadway really was. Though the holes were not super deep in this area, they were very annoying. You can see how DOT blocks off two lanes out of three at one time. It causes monumental traffic jams, but the reason why they do this is to keep the traffic going by very slowly so there's no chance of the workers getting hurt. I can understand why they do it, but the traffic jams are immense. Every single borough of New York City was affected bar none, some worse than others. I've taken a few pictures here of some of the worst areas I came across and one, mis one mishap I had myself. There you can see an exposed manhole cover. That's a real twofer, a pothole and an exposed manhole cover together. But as I said, the DOT guys were working like crazy. Each highway had three or four different crews on it, which is really highly unusual. Here you can see the crews were even working on the Grand Central Parkway by City Field, blocking off the entire express side. Anyone that was stuck behind them could not get through. Luckily I was on the local side. Even the ramps were affected too. Ramps on and off the interstate were pockmarked. Most of these pictures were taken over a week ago so by now most of these holes have been filled. This is the Mill Basin drawbridge which is in bad shape any time of the year. It's scheduled to be replaced and if you look at the underside you'll see how several sections have actually collapsed and fallen through and have been repaired with steel plates. You can see the extent of the rot. This is the original suspension span that Robert Moses made back in the day. It has never been rebuilt, but it is scheduled to be demolished and replaced shortly. Again, the DOT guys were out doing their best, but unfortunately, crazy New York driver fell victim to a pothole himself. I was driving on the Major Deegan Expressway in that exact spot where you see the guys. Bang! I bent two rims at one time. The air leaked out of this one here, as you can see. And it's a pretty big bend, but it's a very easy fix if you know what you're doing. All I had to do was take the tire off, put air back in it, and unbend it with what they call a dead blow hammer, which is a special hammer made to straighten rims. And as you can see right there, the rim is back to looking brand new. It's holding air. It's not leaking at all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. If you're driving in New York City, you need all the tools you see in the picture. A hydraulic jack, dead blow hammer, and four-way lug wrench. That dead blow hammer is the best.